TGIF, you know it's a good day when we can start the morning off in the kitchen. Good Friday morning. I'm Carly Boyette. And I am Natalie Taylor. Today is National Clam Day and Oysters on the Half Shell Day. So we're celebrating with oyster catchers. Shane Clark joins us today. And Shane, I mean, literally setting the bar high. We've got tiers <laughs> of food. We're getting ready to make food. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? We're, we're doing very yeah. well. Yeah. Celebrating a national, uh, a national holiday here, apparently. <laughs> so one we didn't know about until, uh, you know, we, we got to uh, gather with you. What are you going to be making for us today? Uh, today we're going to be making uh, clams and mussels with a little chorizo broth. Uh, we're going to start with take it away. Yeah, we chorizo, like it. saute it up for a minute. You talk about putting the chorizo in, not what I normally would have expected with this dish. Well, the chorizo, you want to start out first with that because you're going to want to cook it for a few minutes, kind of like bacon. Uh, get just some of the flavors out. It's got a lot of paprika in it. You'll see it's going to turn it nice and uh, nice red color after just a minute. And uh, kind of just saute it yep, up. Yep, just saute it up with some, we're going to add some fennel. All right, I'm interested to see Shallots. what The fennel looks like onion. Educate Garlet. me on what fennel is. Uh, fennel, it it's fennel? kind of licorice-y, anise. Okay. So after you saute the chorizo, fennel, mm -hmm. all that stuff for a minute, you can add the clams. All right, what's the trick with cooking clams? The clams. I think people get nervous cooking at home with clams. You're definitely going to want to put them in before the mussels because they take a lot longer. They're probably going to take six to eight minutes to open up. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. they're going to take quite a while. And is that how you know when they're done? Once when they're they open, yep. Kinda open, yep. And clams and mussels, you're always going to want to wash them first. The clams are real sandy and just gritty, so if you don't, it's all going to be in the broth whenever you're done and it's not going to be good. Yeah, nope, we don't want that. <laughs> okay, say so what's, what's, I'm interested in what you're going to pour. Oh, that's here. the chorizo broth. Oh. That, uh, we make with some garlic, shallots, onions. This, that's the last step is I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> chorizo, some fish stock. So how do you know, is this the same thing when those open up? Yeah, exactly. It's going to okay. be, be the same thing. Now, silly question though, how open, I mean, do they just kind of uh, have to crack well, once open? You'll want them open up enough so you can get your fork in there and get okay, it. Okay. If right. they don't open, don't eat them. That means they're dead, so oh. you're not. Oh, yeah, no, if they really? don't, yeah, okay. if they don't open, you're not going to want them. They're not no good. I think like I just keep cooking and going. I'm just going to keep. Yeah, cooking I mean, until if they if they open, open then okay. you'll be okay. But some do okay. take longer than others. Huh. Good to know. <laughs> All right. All right. And then you are going to want to put a lid on it mm -hmm. once you do put the broth in. I know you've got. The, I would say you had to have the two pans here. So yeah. What's I was going to say? I know there's more involved. Oh well, that's pretty much that's it. You're just oh. going to let it come up to a boil once they open. They're done, we'll add a little cilantro to it, salt and pepper, and yeah, basically they're open, they're done. Is this a dish you serve at your restaurant? Uh, we do, mm -hmm. we, except for it's without the clams. It's just mussels with chorizo okay. broth and the crostini. We do have um, clams and mussels every Sunday brunch. We okay. do a different oh. preparation every week. It could be a chorizo broth one week, it could be a coconut curry mm -hmm. the next. And stone crab, by the way, before we wrap up here, because you were saying that you do have them, but yep. they're hard to find this year, yep, you were we telling do us. Have stone crabs, they, they have been pretty hard to find. So if you come in for mm -hmm. them, just call ahead of time to make sure we have them. We don't want you okay. to come in and yeah. be disappointed. Good to know. Look how, yeah, those look perfect. Yep, no so questioning about if those are done or not, if those are good to eat. Nice and open. All right. Some cilantro. And I like that you brought up this a brunch dish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do have clams and mussels every brunch. There we go. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yep. I was going to say, this is uh, looking like quite the dish. Shane, thank you so much for coming right. in and doing this today. Any Celebrating. We can get uh, the, the best chefs in the Bay Area in the kitchen. We'll take it. So thank you so thank much. Thank you guys. Okay. All right. We appreciate it. And up next,